Okay. So, Svetlana, this week you wrote about Olena Bilozevska, a controversial right-wing blogger who was first mm -hmm. awarded uh, the best Ukrainian blog at the Bobs uh, mm -hmm. and then had her reward revoked. Yes. Do you think that was the right thing to do? Yes, of course. I think it was the very right thing to do. And I also think that she was uh, uh, not supposed to be there in the first place. That it's a biggest surprise why she was even nominated. We know that according to uh, Deutsche Welle, she was nominated by Mustafa Nayem. And uh, so um, she just received like 46% or something of the internet vote. But why was she nominated? That's the real question Mustafa should be asked. Yeah. Well, I'm not, uh, I'm not complaining about the, the idea of uh, having a better vetting process. But once she does get picked, and this is a, a competition that prides itself as supporting open dialogue, open exchange of ideas, freedom of expression, and then they give an award to somebody and take it back because they don't agree with that person's ideas. I mean, that's... Yes, but how can you agree with somebody uh, with someone's ideas uh, as long as these ideas are xenophobic and uh, just racist? Because this petition that uh, her uh, opponents and many activists have signed online, it clearly uh, lists all the uh, controversial, very controversial stuff that she was writing in her blog uh, years ago, and she never denounced them. She never said she changed her opinion. There were very um, controversial things like she, she said she had problem with black people in Ukraine, that monuments to Hitler should be erected in Germany, and extreme stuff like this, you know. Mm. But then again, I take issue with the idea of holding a blogger accountable for something that they wrote uh, several years ago, and in this case it was like five or six years ago. Uh, so, you know, the definition of the blog is that you just throw out whatever comes into your mind. If you're a particularly articulate and intelligent person, usually that's, you know, all nicely framed and so forth. If you're a young, passionate blogger, you might write something that you don't really think But then that you much. should say, you know, it's true, but then you should be prepared to be held accountable for whatever you say, uh, especially if it's in written. So if you, for example, change your opinion, or if you think that you were young and whatever, inexperienced, uh, you can just uh, make a point and say that this was a while ago, um, you know, I changed my opinion, I don't think so anymore, I'm sorry if I apologize if my uh, words were hurting somebody. She okay. never did it. Alright, so maybe let's wrap it up with a question. If everything on her blog was fine and politically correct, but then she had a Facebook photo somewhere that had her at a Nazi party, should they still take away her award? They, she should not even be nominated in the first place. So okay. there should be no award in first place to take from her. Okay, so more vetting of bloggers needed, apparently, Deutsche Welle. <laughs> <laughs>